guys, Modern Mods, and today is the last day you're gonna see my bare bones carbon fiber trunk because as you've seen in the thumbnail, I picked up the Dawn Enterprises spoiler off of Amazon for $150 and I got it pre-painted PAU, which is my granite gray, whatever you wanna call it. Hey, it's granite crystal metallic, get it right. There, whatever you wanna call it, and it is looking phenomenal. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. I'm gonna, you know, retrofit it here so you guys can see and uh, show you what hardware it comes with. And we're gonna follow the instructions step by step. Other than the uni bit, we're gonna be using um, just my Dewalt drill bits. I don't have a step bit, and I don't feel like doing all that. So, other than that, though, this would be a great instructional video on how to mount this exact spoiler. Let's get into it. All right. So as you can see, here it is, and. Let's get up in the camera so you can see the gray. Look at that, and it even sparkles. It's a little dusty in here, and there's a little bit of hairs from the actual shipment. Um, great, great shipment. It came in very quick once it was actually shipped. It was one day. It took about four days actually after order being placed to come in and um, you know get to my house and whatnot, but one day of it being shipped and it was at my house. Um, Came very well protected, not a single scratch, and I inspected it very thoroughly. Uh, for those of you knowing me and my channel, all my items seem to come damaged, and this one came in great. So, that it, it always happens out there. This always, always comes damaged, out. and FedEx delivered this, so that's maybe that's a good reason. Um, but here it is. So, you can't really see from this angle, but once I stick it on, and you know, in the middle of the process, I'll kind of show you what it looks like on the side, ang side edge, but I absolutely already love it. It looks really good and it really, you know, balances out with the carbon and then the bumper being the same color, and, so. And it's perfect because it's not big in your face. Yeah. And it's very subtle and it takes, you know, it's just elegant. It is, it looks very nice. And again, um, the link will be in the description. This exact spoiler is made for our cars. Um, V6 four cylinder C limited, doesn't matter. It's made for the 2015 Gen 2 200s. Well, 2015, 2016, yep. 2017. And up, yep. The Gen 2 200s, and it fits really nice. Just even setting it in place, if you get it in the right spot, it will actually sit there, so. Um, yeah, it's, it fits surprisingly well for a part that says it's direct fit. Yeah, it actually does. They did a good job. So let's go ahead and get straight into the install, guys. I'm gonna show you the first step now. All right, guys, so first step is to remove the inner liner as you read in the instructions. So we're gonna go ahead and pop all the pins out and pull out the little plastic to completely remove this thing or at least get it remotely out of the way so we can access the holes we're about to drill. There it is, it's out. All right guys, so going on to step two, slightly skipping through step one. Um, after you pull that down, they want you to put your spoiler on your trunk and put it where you want it. Measure um, uh, eight and a quarter inches back from the tip of the top of the trunk to the tip of the spoiler there. Uh, to make things easier, that's literally flush with the trunk. It, it doesn't get any easier than that. Just flush with the trunk. And then once you figure out where you're gonna put it, like he did over there, you're gonna take your hole marker here, which has one side that is removable with sticky, and you're just gonna place it over the hole like that, push down, um, make sure you have some tape handy, masking tape preferably, uh, something that won't damage your paint and will peel off pretty easily. And then place your spoiler back on your trunk where you want it, tape down your paper there, remove your spoiler, and that will get you into step three with drilling. All right, guys, so now we got the masking tape lined up on there. We're just gonna tip back and pop off. And there we are. And now we got indicators for uh, where the hole needs to be. Now we're gonna start drilling. Uh, this is gonna be very scary for some of you guys. I. I highly recommend it though. I don't recommend being like those ones that just stick them on, but you know, do you, 
do you? And, but and at the end of the day, if you do choose to stick it on, look at how much 3M sticky tape is on not one side, but both sides of this spoiler. There yeah. is there is a crap load of 3M tape on here, which I can understand somebody that doesn't want to drill into their pristine trunk, but at the end of the day, if you ever try to take this off, there's so much tape on here, you're going to destroy your paint. So what's what's the point in not drilling the hole? Because if you ever try to take it off, you're going to have a, you know, a mess to clean up with the 3M tape and the bolt's going to hold it on better anyway. So. Yeah, and just, you know, long rides, car washes, all those things do a lot of pooling. And yeah. over time, man, winter, it's just 3M is great tape, but I don't know how much to trust it on something that this expense level <laughs> to hold on. And another thing you got to think of is when you're going down the highway, let's say 80 mile an hour, there's so much force pushing down on this, which is pushing back on it to push your car down to the ground. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of force there. And if this ever comes off, this is going to destroy somebody's car <laughs> yeah, It's going to be a It's not heavy, weapon. but if you're doing 80 miles an hour down the highway, this thing flying at you is going to do some damage. So oh, you might as well do it right day. the first time. All day. Okay, guys. So coming into the drilling portion, uh, this is the part where they want you to use a uni bit or a step bit. Uh, whatever you want to call it, they call it uni bit. Um, I'm not going to be using that today, one, because I just don't have one. But I'm just going to be using the actual drill bit sizes. And um, it's pretty much the same. The unit bit's going to make it a little bit easier. But let's get straight into the drilling. Okay, everybody. So. We got the first hole drilled on this backside, and uh, what you gotta do is you gotta drill through the, fir uh, the first layer, and then there's this stamped second layer right here that it's hard to tell in the video, but uh, you can see, you, you'll know what it is when you see it in, in person. But there's this uh, stamped piece right here, and you have to drill through the top piece and be really very, very careful with it, because you don't want the uh, drill to slam into your paint because that'll put a dent in your trunk lid. Um, but once you get through the uh, the top layer, go really slowly into the bottom layer, and that'll get you there. It doesn't sound like you're doing it right. It sounds really, really bad, but trust me, it's it's not nearly that bad. You'll uh, you'll see it here in a second. Just like that, and we got the second hole drilled in the bottom. So uh, now onto what? Step three, four, four. Step four. One. All right, guys, so now um, this is the second part of the drilling process. We're actually still on step three. Um, you have to open up the deck lid, so the top part, um, to 7 16 with the step bit. That is the screw that's actually going in. So I'm not using the step bit, like I said. I actually grabbed a 5 16 drill bit, which will give me just a little bit more space, so that screw will fit in perfectly. So this screw will fit in the hole. Because the size that they wanted you to do it, it's just way yeah, it, too big. It's just way too big, guys. So you're gonna drill your two top holes, only the top. You're not gonna go all the way through. You don't need to do that. Just the top. Like Jack said earlier, take it slow, be easy. These are pilot holes, so it shouldn't be too hard to do. But again, take it easy. If you go in way too hard, you might go through, ding something up in there. And if you go even further, you're gonna crash in. So let's drill the top deck holes. guys so you saw the top drilling so here we are coming up to this little hole back here so in the instructions they want you to go to three quarter with your um, uni bit we're gonna do half inch um, just because I'm using my impact gun so it will fit in there flawlessly but if I need to I can just wiggle a little bit to make this hole bigger but three quarters to me and Jack is a little bit excessive but they do come with caps so if you do drill that large hole and once you screw it in you can put the cap on which will be you know, nice, look a little bit better. 
But again, I'm just gonna go half inch with it and we'll see where that goes. So let's go ahead and drill these two holes to half inch or three quarter. It's all right. Oh, he smiled at the camera. All right, guys, so after we drilled our holes, we just pushed in our screws. And what we did was is we, since we just two people here, we actually had the lid up. We pushed our screws through the hole. Then um, one side, one person was screwing and, you know, fiddling the th uh, screw through. I was kind of holding it. So what I did was I peeled the Plasti or um, 3M off and then pushed the screw through, screwed that one side in partially, came over here, did the same process, then was able to screw them down while the lid was up, and then we closed the lid and applied pressure to both sides. So it is taped, and it is screwed in through that hole in there. You will not be able to see it, but there is a screw in there. And that is what's holding this baby on. So let's close her down. And that's what it looks like, guys. I would highly recommend having somebody to help you with this. Yes, it's this would not be possible on your own. Yeah, it would you be end up sticking it down all crooked or something yeah. like that. Yeah. It'd look like garbage and good luck getting all that three arm tape off. Exactly. So it came out really good though. said no more empty naked trunk um i absolutely love the look it looks great um, some bling on the trunk now. there's some bling on the trunk you um in the video position that you're at right now you can't really tell um but it it it's pretty aggressive it's not over aggressive um my boy god slayer's got that taken way out of you know way out of there we can't over aggress him but this is um kind of sleek the way i like it and it pokes really nicely. It's definitely noticeable, 100% noticeable. Like I said, that angle is more of a standing looking at an angle and it's probably already noticeable from there. When you get to the side angles and even from coming from the front to the back, you can see it like crazy. The paint is great quality. It cleaned up real nicely. I wiped it down with the microfiber, immediately took the finger uh, paint off or finger prints off and Another shout out to um, Dawn Enterprise for it because they actually come with five year warranty guys. So I actually read up on it. It's anything, it's paint chipping. Um, if it started to, the adhesive started to come off and God forbid something, it partially came off or anything like that. They have a great warranty on these things. And for $149 guys, that was after tax. You, you can't beat this. Shipped to the house. Yeah, I mean, that everything. That was one forty nine oh eight out the door on my car now. That's what I paid. And um, I don't know, how long have we been doing this? Like maybe an hour? Maybe. Yeah, it, and honestly, yeah, about an hour. And um, like I said, I'm not, we didn't use the Unibit. If you did, it probably would have made it way easier. So in reality, plan about an hour of your time if you've never done this before. And that's saying a lot for when it comes. If not, maybe two. Yeah. And that's if you stand around and drink beers with the boys for a little exactly. while. Exactly. So who, who knows? We, we we kept that to a minimum. But yes, um, yes. So if you if you really focus on it and don't get crazy, give yourself about an hour or two hours, and you'll have a new spoiler. And, again, paint match um, on the actual um, page when you go to buy it. I think there was about 13 colors you could choose from, which is pretty sweet. Um, I've seen a couple guys – with this spoiler as well, do um, opposite colors. So I've seen white uh, cars that bought black ones. I even saw a white car that bought a blue one, um, which, you know, everybody has their own flavor. I just went ahead and did my stock color because I already have the carbon top. And like you, you can't really see in the camera that well, but you will see in later on videos and pictures of my car the offset of the coloring. Plus, it's a nice Indiana winter right now, and, and we're knows? salty, boy. Who knows? We might be able to. 
to convince him to do this in carbon too. Who knows? We'll see. I actually have more plans uh, coming with my valence um, with some carbon fun as well. So you will be getting those videos and much more. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And this is another segment with Jack involved. I don't know how you guys like him. I can barely stand him, but we make it work for you guys. Hey, so hey, if it makes you feel any better, you know, I can't stand it either. See, so we're doing this for you. Yeah, so one hundred percent. Exactly. Um, thanks again, guys. We really appreciate you guys checking this out. We hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, hit up the um, the comment section. Uh, or hit me up on Instagram for some more in detail, maybe even a video chat, anything I can do to help you guys make uh, all your mods easy and smooth. So until the next one, guys, peace. Peace.